my channel. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Today we are going to be doing this look and it is testing new products. They're not necessarily new products on the market but they're just products that I came across and they are products from MAC, Benefit and H&M. So I've already moisturised my face. I'm just going to put a bit of the Pull Professionals by Benefit. I find that it kind of balances out my skin tone because I do have redness in certain places. Next I'm going to go in with a highlighter. I usually like to put a highlighter underneath my foundation. So the one that I bought recently was the High Beam by Benefit. So I'm just going to go on the kind of highest points of my face. See how nice that is for my eyes for the crease color. I'm going to be using Limit, and that is from the Naked 3 Urban Decay palette. Just sweeping that color across, and then with the I think it's Nuna from the palette as well. It's like a light chocolate brown. I was on Oxford Street recently, and I didn't realize how much makeup. Um, H&M did so I picked up a few different things and they come in quite nice kind of packaging and this is the high impact eyeshadow eye color sorry vivid pigments captivating shades and this is in the color paradise it just opens like that it's got gold lid and white around there and these are $4.99 oh, and it is like really nice and pigmented um, I'm just going to go in with that uh, Nuna colour that we used before from the Naked 3 palette. And then just go kind of into the corner. Just This is just to darken the corner. I'm just going to go in with the colour Limit. And then just to darken the crease off, I'm just going to go in with the dark side. But only a touch. I always tend to return to this is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation. I'm just going to be dotting it all around my face. And to be blending that in, I'm just going to be using the Real Techniques Correction Sponge and using it damp. For concealer, I'm going to be using my normal concealer and that is the L'Oreal True Match and it is in the shade Vanilla. And I'm just going to go right under the eyes, right to the end. You don't have to do all this, it's just kind of my routine. Because it's like a really nice light shade. It, um, it looks natural, but it, it, it looks highlighted. To give my face a bit of shape, I'm just going to be adding the uh, LA Girl Pro Concealer, and that is in the shade, I think it's Espresso. Espresso. If you've got light skin, you're not going to need a lot of this because it can be quite harsh. I'm just going to be using the Hoola Bronze Art by Benefit. Um, and that just comes in like a nice little top. And I'm using the powder brush from Real Techniques. Another product that I bought from H&M was the High Definition Invisible Powder Mattifying and Perfecting for All Skin Tones. Um, and this is in the colour Translucent. It's very kind of simplistic, it's just got H&M on the front. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to try this, see how it turns out. If I can freaking open it. How the hell do you open this thing? Okay, so the packaging's like this. <laughs> but it's got a sticker over the front, but it's got nothing to pull it up with. Hey, we have success. So yeah, it's just a little thing like that, but it literally has like nothing to pull it up. It has this little bit here, I don't know if you can see that, but that was stuck down to the top as well, so you can't actually lift it up. It's a little bit annoying. I'm gonna take some of this and fill it. Come on. I just whack it all on. 
I'm not gonna lie, I just feel like talcum powder. Has anyone ever tried talcum powder to bake with? I'm sure they have. Everyone loves their good air. Bargain. <coughs> right, while that sits in place, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm going with the uh, Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Medium Brow. I'm just gonna be using the Revolutions Makeup Revolutions London and the Autumn Double Flake Liquid Eyeliner. Uh, I always like to use the thing because I think it gives you more control. So it seems that I didn't record this bit, but um, I am just currently going in with the Eye Studio Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner, and that's from Maybelline and this is just to make your eyes really nice and black so with all that done you can add lashes but I'm not going to I'm just going to be using the uh, pow my powder brush by Real Techniques just to dust all of this off I'll be honest it does feel really nice and set and your skin just feels like velvet like just so smooth some people don't like velvet this is a new product that I bought recently as well, if I can find it. It is the Sheer Tone Blush from MAC and it is in the shade Koi Girl and it's just a really nice, kind of really nice girly pink. The highlighter I always use, hands down, 100% the Mary Luminizer um, from The Balm. And you can see I've hit pan, but to be honest, I hit pan so long ago, I can't even remember when it was. So it does last so long. Just because I feel like I'm looking quite flat, I'm just gonna add a bit of that cooler bronzer. These are new, but I absolutely love them. They are the Jera's Cosmetic Hydra Matte. And I have a lot of them, but I'm actually be using the Mercury Rising, and it's a beautiful kind of bright 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 red the other thing that i did buy that i haven't used in this tutorial is the um h&m glitter dust and uh, is in the color catherine wheel these are 4.99 it's just so pretty i hope you enjoyed this tutorial it was kind of an experimentation with different products I am going to test the H&M Invisible Powder a bit more before I can give a proper review on it. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you have a lovely day. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you soon. Bye!